Hey everybody, good afternoon. Welcome to another small edition of the Witching Hour Podcast. I'm your host, as always, John Roysland. So, today's big news. It's not so much horror related, but it's related to me, so whatever. Um, Slayer, Slayer, fucking Slayer. As most of you have heard, Slayer has reunited for at least, let's do it, two shows now. Now, Slayer, um, formed in 1981, uh, had their last show November 30th of 2019. My God, I can't believe it's actually been that long already, but it definitely doesn't seem like it. I was not at the last show, but I was uh, fortunate enough to have caught one of uh, the shows on that tour here in Baltimore with a, a photo press pass and got some phenomenal pictures and had a great time. Um, so it was what, two days ago that they announced or maybe even yesterday, I don't recall because fuck it, I'm old, um, have announced that they are going to be reuniting for two shows, two festivals. Um, first one being at Riot Fest in Chicago, been around for a couple of years now, uh, I believe was actually first made really, really big and hit the maps, um, when the Misfits had actually done their first full-on reunion, had only played about, what, three, maybe four shows, and Riot Fest was one of them. Um, after that, uh, after Riot Fest, five days later, they will be headlining one night at Louder Than Life in Kentucky. Now, I did a little bit of uh, homework for you guys that are anxious and curious. Uh, Riot Fest, which is three days in September, uh, ticket prices go anywhere from $200, excuse me, $209 on a basic general admission. And then, of course, nowadays they have all different kinds of packages that you can get of different levels of comfort and so forth, uh, ranging anywhere up to $1,348. Louder Than Life is four days. Uh, with such nightly headliners as, uh, what do we got, Slipknot, Motley Crue, of course, Slayer, uh, and Korn. Uh, four days there from General Admission is 289 I believe it was, uh, uh, with, a, with a $57 uh, fee, or four days for $1,659.99 99 and a $200 fee. I'm sure a lot of this is going to change, and it could be, uh, you know what, I don't even know. Anyhow, I'm not making any of that money. I'll be one of the suckers that will probably be paying for it, uh, given the opportunity. Uh, I've already spoke to my wife, and yes, we are definitely going to try to get out to Chicago, see some family, get a Chicago dog, and of course, an Italian beef farm there. Uh, my wife has never been able to see Slayer during her her years. And I have seen them quite a handful of times, as I mentioned. Sorry, man. They are the goat of heavy metal. Um, you know, I don't care if anybody says you know, Metallica can whatever. Um, Slayer just brings a power. They bring it to you. They're the best metal band that has ever been on stage. I don't care who you put them up against. Um my personal opinion, obviously. Uh, but all this comes at a, a rather strange time where Carrie King, um, obviously, uh, former guitarist, lead guitarist for, uh, for Slayer, has just released his, or made public, um, the Carrie King Band, which also consists partly of uh, Paul Bastoff, which was a slumber, the, the slumber <laughs> uh, previous drummer for slayer um and then uh guitarist for slayer gary holt going back to his roots uh with exodus carrie king also making a lot of news lately uh talking about previous and original drummer dave lombardo uh saying that how he is dead to me okay uh, and also saying how after the night of their final show, which was in California that I had mentioned in uh, November 30th of 19, he has not heard one word 
from bassist and lead singer Tom Araya. Not a text, a phone call, nothing. After that night, it was just done. So here we are four and a half, not quite four and a half, but over four years later, not a word. And then within one week's time, the four band members have already signed to do not one, but two reunion shows. Now, three of the four members seemingly very still active, obviously, with their uh, with their musician careers. Tom, from what I have read and seen online, is very happy and content being a uh, being retired, spending a lot of time with his family. Can't question the man; he's been doing this for a long time. Um, am I pro with their reunion? Fuck yeah. yeah. Uh, did I think it was going to happen eventually, but not quite this quick. I honestly thought this was going to be turning out to be one of those things where, uh, or like when you first saw kiss on stage in full gear, uh, at the awards many, many years ago. <laughs> and not, not that Slayer is going to be on stage, uh, with anybody at one of those awards, but I think you kind of get my feeling. I didn't think it would just be something that would just kind of pop up. I thought there'd be kind of more of a surprise build up to it. And like I said, especially after everything that Kerry King has been talking about online, it was kind of a surprise to hear. Um, nevertheless, the concerts do look great. They have a lot of great people that are coming to them. Um, will this bring any future music to the to the band together will they be hitting the studios who knows um do i think they are done as a band no fuck no do i think that they could all work together again mm, i don't know do i think they could actually tour no you know with music and technology nowadays they don't even have to be in the same room even be in the same state on the same continent they can record their tracks email it send it off people can mix it <laughs> there's your new album they never even have to see each other they just got to get paid for it and that's it so anyhow um yeah so that's what i wanted to bring you slayer fucking slayer back in the news um one of the most entertaining brutal shows i've ever been to um the four members i don't know how they do it tom especially they just kind of they command the respect when they're on stage. Um, it is just diehard. It's like nothing I've ever seen. And um, you're going to see a lot, of, a lot of old guys at these shows. And uh, hopefully a lot of the new generation will still follow through with them. Uh, but regardless, that's what I got for you today. Uh, be on the lookout for more shows coming up. But uh, until that time, you guys keep it evil. Don't forget to subscribe. Please follow me on uh, Instagram, definitely on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook. And I'm now on TikTok because I'm trendy. And uh, also thank you to Hell Metal Forge Art, uh, my new sponsor. Be sure to watch after the video for some of their artwork that I'll be displaying for you. Take care, you guys. Keep it evil.